pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. back to just seeing my name on the entry list that's when I felt like hey I made it there, there's a lot of greats out here a lot of great talent great people people I've admired my whole life watching race and to see my name even close to those guys um, dream come true and anybody that sees this hey follow your passions any anything is possible Do we have enough time to talk about the path? <laughs> it's been a long journey. It's, uh, man, starting out at uh, in the NHRA Junior Drag Racing League, always had the passion of and the, and the goal of driving a top fuel dragster one day. That actually goes back to when I was two years old. So I just raced my whole life. I have had the opportunity to work for uh, teams in the past, gained you know, a lot of experience, chose a marketing path uh, to help me get in the seat went to the University of Alabama, got my marketing degree only to go drag racing. So fortunately I made a career in this great sport so far um, on the marketing side. I crewed on cars, you know, um, drove them, obviously tried to be as versatile as possible. Uh, so when I got an opportunity like this, I could make the best of it. I, personally, I feel like the biggest jump was going from, you know, bracket cars up to a fuel. Um, Spending four years in A-Fuel, I had 150, 155 laps between uh, Harada's car, driving for them for four years, and then uh, Robin Samson's car that I was able to run this year. Um, I can't stress enough how great it is to drive an A-Fuel car as, and, and use that as a, a training tool, a platform to step up to top fuel. Procedurally, everything's pretty well the same. Um, it's just a matter of it, it's going faster. Uh, making sure it's pointed straight and, and, and you know, not, not overdriving the car. Um, the launch, say first 150, 200 feet is about the same. After that, it's like, hello, like it's, it don't stop, you know? Um, but it, it definitely, like I said, the A fuel car was the best thing I could have done. And I recommend that for anyone that has the, the goals and, and dreams of running a top fuel dragster or even a fuel funny car. I mean, fuel funny car, I know that's completely different, but procedurally they're all the same, and I, I highly recommend uh, uh, taking the step from, you know, kids out there that are watching junior dragsters up to the super classes, and then, you know, top dragster, top sportsman, and keep, you know, working their way on up in whatever class they may pursue. I, I personally don't think I could have a better teacher, better mentor than Larry Dixon. I mean, he's he's seen it all. He's done it all. Um, I mean, it, every every time we sit down and talk about you know procedures and techniques, I mean, the guy's got answers. He you know he, he just he he knows it. I would love to take credit for the rap, but that wasn't my idea. That was totally Larry's deal. And man, what an honor! Uh, when when uh, they they started applying the graphics at the shop the other day, and I started to see what was coming together. It, it, you know, it's just kind of an, an emotional time. Like, wow, this, you know, I was five years old watching that car. It was one of my favorite top fuel cars ever. And the fact that he come out in his rookie season and, and won Indy, I look at him, I'm like, man, like, no pressure, right? You know, <laughs> here we are with this scheme again. It's like making my rookie debut. You know, it has a lot of meaning. And, uh, you know, Larry, Larry is a, a legend of this sport. 
he needs to be out here. Love to see him out here. And uh, I, I think it's uh, a very uh, unique way to, you know, have this come back out here. And a lot of people have complimented the car. Everybody knows what it is. It has a lot of meaning behind it. It's almost indescribable. Like I said, it's what you dream about. Like, I couldn't have painted this picture any better. Uh, but at the end of the day, let me back up and say, it's it's the big goat. This is Indy. This is the granddaddy of them all. Um, but I will say, you have to look at it like it's any other run. And I just looked at it like, hey, we are like made my license a month ago. Uh, that was my third full run in the car. So it's just procedurally, everything's the same. The atmosphere, the environment's definitely different here at Indy. Uh, the stands are packed. You know, everybody's watching. Um, first car down the track. We wanted to go A to B and get some data. Obviously, get me more laps. And we were happy with that. It's a good starting point for us. Uh, we can definitely go quicker. We're definitely going to build on that um, and, and, and to do that. Um, but it was just a good, clean, solid A to B run and gives us something to work on for today. And if I can do my job, I think uh, we'll have this hot rod in the in the show and see where we stack up on Monday. And they are off together. A little bit of tire smoke off of Daryl Gwen's car. And it is a loss of traction that spells defeat for Daryl Gwen. How about Mullins? He picks up a full tenth over his first round race. Well, a very strong, oil-free 567, Bill Mullins. We're happy with that. We'll take a win any way we can get it. Bill Mullins is a great friend of mine. Um, I, I always grew up watching those two race top fuel uh, amongst other classes in the past. Um, and Bill was always uh, a hero of mine and, and I, I was very fortunate to meet him and become best of friends with him. Uh, he's helped me in a lot of ways. This weekend, I actually debuted with the number 200 on my car and I chose that number uh, it, it, you know, in honor of Bill Mullins. So trying to keep that in the state of Alabama. Uh, like I said, we have a great friendship and it's, it's quite the honor to have that 200 on the side of the car because that was a great guy that, you know, represented Alabama very well and that's our tie together. It's just working, you know, working so hard to, to chase your passion, you know, follow your passion and make this happen. Uh, a lot of people told me I couldn't pull this off. Um, we did it, you know. Um, it's just, I always said if I had one shot, you know, I want to throw it all on the table and why not do it here at Indy, you know. Larry Dixon, Larry Dixon's car, um, the throwback scheme, it's Indy, it's, uh, this is this is what I've dreamed of. Uh, so so picking Indy to debut only made sense for, for Larry and I and, I mean, it's, it's the grandest stage of all. I don't know how else to put it. It's the big go.